you, you described the uh, for the first time the Oceanic Anarchic event. Yes, I was, uh, I was one of the people that did that. And, and so, how did you come up with this theory? Well, it goes back to the early days of the deep sea drilling project when we were just beginning to drill the sediments on the floor of the ocean and particularly below the floor of the ocean. And in some of those early days, in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the drilling ship was in the Pacific and it drilled sediments that were very rich in organic carbon and this was in the middle of the Pacific Ocean so this was a great surprise to everybody and more of a surprise was that the beds rich in organic carbon that were found in the Pacific were apparently exactly the same age as the beds that you can see cropping out here in Italy and of very very similar character so the idea was then that there was some global event which was very dramatic which affected the whole of the ocean which allowed the accumulation of organic matter in many parts of the globe at the same time. In terms of time, we're talking about 93 million years ago. In terms of duration of that event, we're talking about maybe 200 to 300, maybe 400 thousand years. So that's the duration of the, uh, of, of the oceanic anoxic event. So the idea came from really the insight that we gained from how the whole oceans work from drilling in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, half a world away from right here in Italy. Why do, why do you think that the Oceanic Anosic events are important today? Well, for several reasons. If you're interested in petroleum source rocks, then that's exactly what they are. So if you have a feeling that petroleum source rocks were formed at certain instances in time, that could be something that could help in your exploration activities. They also give us a warning, perhaps, of what happens to the planet if you push it to very extreme conditions. And these oceanic anoxic events seem to have happened when the world was unusually warm. Warm because there were large amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In this case that probably came from huge volcanic eruptions in various parts of the globe during this, during this uh, interval of time. But if you want to take a lesson from what's happening to the, the planet now, we know it's warming. We know that certain conditions are changing in the oceans. And some of the phenomena that we know characterize oceanic and oxic events are actually starting to happen in a very small way in the ocean today. And that includes acidification of the oceans from the carbon dioxide, but also spreading deoxygenation. So we don't know how this was, will evolve in future, but the, the geological sort of record here tells you what happens if you push the planet very far, very fast towards this uh, extreme, extremely high temperatures. Which are your thoughts about the role of man in this pushing? Well, if you believe that global warming is anthropogenic, then obviously the ro role of man is uh, of paramount importance. Do you believe he's anthropogenic? Personally, I do. But obviously the data are really not long enough to convince everybody. You, as a geologist, you're used to wor working with thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, millions of years and here we're just looking at effects that have happened since the Industrial Revolution so we're looking maybe even on the scale of one or two human lifetimes and that's really far too short a time to know for certain what is going to happen but I think all the evidence shows that some fairly remarkable changes are happening and so we need to be, we need to be careful.